Alright guys and girls, it's B2. Welcome to another very exciting episode of Clicker Heroes and happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. That's right. June 18th. If you woke up this morning and you have a father, you should stop what you're doing. Hit pause on this YouTube video. Pick up your phone. Call your father. Tell him you love him and tell him happy Father's Day. Having said that, let's get into checking on the Nightmare Challenge. And this is update four. So Let's take a look at the Ascension rolls here, and I will say this, it's not any harder necessarily, it's just going to take longer. And that's fine, we've got time, we've got all the time, 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 but you can see the progress here still rolls, it still goes up, it just doesn't go up as fast, and I think I mentioned that in the update 3, but... Uh, so yeah, anyway, we're up over uh, whatever is after trillion. We're at 57,000 trillion. So, uh, and, and we've done 12 ascensions. So if you look on here, we're probably pretty close to another one. And that's the thing with without having the frags worth, without having the Vega for the cooldowns, without having some of the multipliers and like the power surge times two going. Um, so it's not any, that, that it can't be done. It's just that it's going to take a little bit more time, right? And that's fine. Um, so I think, I think, I think, I think we have a enough uh, hero souls gathered here to go ahead and ascend even though we've not hit the max level I wanted to kind of get some stuff set out for you guys and and uh, and take a look at some of the different things going on so uh, let's take a look well let's go ahead and pump these high levels out and it's down to wep wep wet -we which is where we're at now we can go right from tree beast to wep -we wet without having to upgrade anything else it's very 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 handy so uh, let's go ahead and just knock this out real quick and and let's see where we're at as far as uh, updating some of the stuff right and of course it's slower without mammon because with mammon we would have all these options down here but right now we're still stuck at tree beast because that's just uh, the way it is with only five ancients here so we chose to go with again Argyle, Bale, Juggernaut, Mimsy, and Solomon so we're gonna do what we always do which is upgrade Solomon all the way that we can and see normally we would go like eight or nine or ten upgrades there and we went about four or five so um, and that's why it takes longer because you're just not able to build them up as fast so uh, we're gonna pump up Argyev that one actually got a pretty decent amount we're gonna go ahead with Jughead get him up and then bail for the one shot and put the rest into Mimsy that's pretty much the order that I'm going with which is Solomon Argyev, Juggernaut, Bale, Mimsy and and the reason I do that is because obviously if you upgrade Solomon, then if you go to level 3500 and you upgrade Solomon, you'll go to 3500 again, but you'll get more because you added Solomon in. That makes sense. I don't have to really belabor that point. And then Argyev, which is your gilded bonus damage, uh, it's it's huge to continue to upgrade that in my scenario. That works for me. I don't play idle. I play um, idle auto clicker, meaning that I'm not active on the mouse clicking, but I'm just kind of letting things roll. And so that's pretty self-explanatory as well. And then Juggernaut, because I do have these auto clickers working for me, um, I want to get the per click damage up as high as possible. Um, and then it's I don't have a problem one shotting necessarily. Um, I just have a problem when we get to those higher bosses because I don't have an ancient that adds time or takes away boss health, right? So it just takes longer to get up to there. So Bale help, kind of helps uh, hit get those big hits and those big crits. And then of course Mimsy is every time a treasure chest pops, uh, we want to get that all the way up as, as far as possible. So, and then I just start upgrading these guys. I guess I could hit upgrade all, but a little too easy, right? Let's see what we got here. And I like to get up to Betty Clicker um, and max her out because she's the one who does a lot of the damage modifiers for 20 and 50 percent, which keeps things going fast, right? So you saw that uh, increase 20 there, increase 20 there, increase 20 there. Um, so once we hit level 50, boom, it's another increase in DPS. It just makes things faster, as well as like in the Wandering Fisherman up here, there's another 25 percent increase. So you want to make sure you're on top of those sort of things. And that's going to help your damage out um, tremendously. And then you want to start working your crit bonuses up. Let's see, this Merc. This is my fabled Merc, so I send them out on the 5 and 15s. It's a 50% recruitment speed, which means you can recruit every 4 hours. And I dig that because we're going to try and kill off some Mercs and and um, and go for Leroy Jenkins again. I heard like that the stat is like it's a 1 in 200, but uh, I've been playing for 2 years and I still don't see, uh, I still don't see it up there. So... As you were, right? Let's get this another crit update. 
And you can see like the gold starts to really come in when you when you hit up in some of the higher levels, especially when you hit some of the treasure chests now. We'll get these guys rolling, see if we can make it down. We're not gonna make it down to uh uh old what's his name? Midas, let's do let's do him. Uh four hundred B. Yeah, see we're not gonna be able to get that upgrade for a while. Let's turn off let's turn off tree bees for now. Head back over to Midas. We're waiting for a treasure chest to pop because we've got no mammon. So we're just waiting for Mimsy to do his thing. And that's the other thing too is if you had a Dora, you could increase the chances in which the treasure chest would drop and that helps out a lot too because you're just going to end up with a big score. We'll wait until we see one. I don't want to upgrade him. I'm waiting for the, the pop in the gold. There we go. And see, that's a 25% increase in gold. So then you can, it kind of helps get the rest of them. You can tell, you can tell with Nodora how long it takes to get a treasure chest to pop. Let's hope one goes. Come on. There we go. There we go. And then I just work my way down from here. And so at this point, like what I would do is I would just load up a different game and I would play something else for about an hour and then come back and check on uh, on how far it's upgraded itself. Let's go ahead and hit buy all for that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. A nice, short, sweet episode for Father's Day. I hope you guys are doing well. Again, please call your fathers. Tell them you love them. Give them a hug. Uh, for those of us whose fathers have passed away, uh, we're going to go visit like cemeteries and stuff and and if you not if you don't have a good relationship with your dad that's not how you want to visit them on Father's Day right so so uh, make sure you tell them you love them while they're alive peace